The report that our committee has just issued is an evaluation of a U.S. government initiative called PEPFAR. PEPFAR stands for the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief. This is a major initiative that began 10 years ago. The Institute of Medicine was asked to evaluate this initiative. In fact, it, it had done a, an evaluation five years ago, and this is the second evaluation of this initiative uh, going back for the entire 10 years. So the report has um, been asked to look at the, uh, the progress of the initiative over this time period, particularly in regard to meeting the, uh, the targets for prevention, treatment, and care, and the progress in regard to strengthening health systems, uh, providing services to children, particularly orphans and vulnerable children, and uh, dealing with other issues such as uh, gender and uh, how the, uh, the initiative has responded to the country's needs in regard to HIV and AIDS. PEPFAR is a very major initiative of the U.S. government. In fact, it is likely the largest single initiative against a particular disease in history. This uh, initiative works in, in many countries around the world, perhaps a hundred countries, and is a uh, significant contribution of the U.S. government and the U.S. people to, to addressing a major public health problem. So the, um, the reason we should be um, interested in this evaluation and in this initiative is that it, it is a wonderful example of how the U.S. government has provided assistance, worked with countries to address a major public health problem. The evaluation report makes some recommendations to uh, PEPFAR. First, it's important to, to acknowledge that this initiative has been very successful in meeting its, its targets. It has put more than um, five million individuals on treatment for HIV and AIDS. It has uh, provided services and care to 15 million individuals, including four and a half million orphans and vulnerable children. And it has provided the antiretrovirals to pregnant women to uh, prevent the transmission of HIV to their, their children. And this uh, has been provided to uh, 750,000 women, probably um, preventing more than 200,000 uh, children from being infected with HIV. So this program is large and it is a challenge to sustain it and to um, have the transition that our committee felt was necessary to more country ownership to um, build the capacity in countries to take more responsibility and for the U.S. government to, to transition to other roles of technical assistance as well as continuing to provide monetary and other assistance. But the, uh, the roles will have to shift over time to recognize that this will not happen very quickly in many countries. That is going to be in some settings a slow process of building the capacity that is necessary for them to really take the full ownership and deliver the services that are needed.